Boca Theater and Automation's approach to home technology is to integrate dozens of disparate technologies into a single easy to use user interface, which is usually an iPad or a touch screen and so forth. If you look through all of the various things bombarding and flooding consumers these days, from Apple TV, Google Chrome, streaming Netflix, whole house audio, we need surveillance, we need Wi-Fi, there's all these kinds of things that all need to work together seamlessly, but there's a hundred different providers. How do you choose what to put in your home? How do you manage it once it's in there? And how do you put it in such a way that anybody can use it? pretty much anybody can have a certain degree of automation within their homes. And whether that's just an integrated network or in streaming Netflix, or whether it's more sophisticated where we're doing lighting, temperature control, automated doors and whatnot. What sets Boca Theater and Automation apart from its competition is that we're not AV guys. Myself and my partners who founded Boca Theater and Automation were engineers and we worked many years in the public sector. Myself in the automobile industry, I did robotics for General Motors for a number of years. I did high-end enterprise software and I got used to the idea of fault tolerance, of having things available all the time and just working. We're trying to be there and be the technologist that can bring it all together and help make decisions on how to build a home and how to evolve that home. Builders offer home technology services as part of a new construction job or part of a renovation. They do not do what we do. Builders don't want to do what we do, <laughs> frankly. Builders are interested in anything that goes inside the drywall so that they can get certificate of occupancy so that they can move on to the next project. Our customers want us for when they close, at that point forward, and then hopefully for the next 10, 15, whatever number of years. We're about living and breathing systems within the house. We're not about sort of install something and then run away. It's a completely different model. Builders, on the other hand, want to make sure that they get their CO. They want to get an alarm system in, they want the lighting to work, and so forth. But after that, they're not interested in doing software updates. That's our job. We do software updates. We do internet firmware updates. We do all that other stuff. They're long gone. They're not involved in the technology. The high-end custom builders get it. They know that big houses are like commercial properties and they need lighting, automation, music, and so forth. For the smaller players, it's all about building the house and moving on to the next box. So we're very different. Our industry is too complex for somebody to be an expert at building and also an expert at luxury AV. They're completely different disciplines. It seems these days in our luxury AV world, people don't want to see the TV when it's off. It's hidden behind a mirror, behind an electric screen, and so forth. When the system turns on, the TV is revealed, and the sound out of this is awesome. Even though it's drywall speakers, all the sound is coming right out of the wall. By working with the designer, we can educate them on how we can move that technology into a closet. All the noise and heat and power issues are in that one room, and now they can do whatever they need to in the room, because all they're worried about is that TV and the speakers, and everyone has a wireless touch panel. So by doing this, we can integrate form and function so that you've got high-end luxury AV, but you're not sacrificing on the aesthetics as well. People do not want to come home and every day something is different. They want some consistency. They want to be able to just operate their house and not have to use an owner's manual. It needs to be simple and easy and reliable.